nature, we all depend upon each other. We give something and get something in return. Let's see how. The grasshopper depends on the grass for its food. The frog depends upon the grasshopper for its food, who in turn becomes food for the snake. The snake finally gets eaten by the eagle. But how does this help the grass? When the eagle dies, its body decomposes and gets mixed in the soil. The dead bodies of all plants and animals mix in the soil. This helps the soil to become fertile. So the grass and all the other plants grow well. This is called a food chain. Let's look at another example. We often see small people or banyan plants growing from the cracks of the walls of buildings or at the corner of balconies. But how do the seeds of these plants get there? The birds deposit the seeds there. Birds eat the fruits of people and banyan. They digest the fruits, but the seed comes out with the bird droppings. If it falls on a crack in the wall and gets a little moisture, it grows into a small plant. Here, the trees give food to the birds and the birds in turn help new trees to grow. In nature, you shall find perfect cooperation between living things. Sometimes we see birds sitting on a buffalo's back. They eat the small insects on the buffalo's body. The birds get food from the buffalo's body and the buffalo is rid of these insects. There are some food chains where we are also involved. Cows eat grass. They give us milk. We drink that milk. Like us, all plants and animals have their place in the natural world. We must respect their existence and let them live happily and freely like us.